Hey guys, I got something really special I want to show you, do a quick test drive video on it. Um, this is a 2013 Police Interceptor, all-wheel drive Ford Taurus. It is the 365 horsepower, 365 horsepower, twin turbo engine with all-wheel drive. Belongs to my buddy Bob over here. <laughs> that lives across the tracks from me over there where you can see his other police car and some of his other stuff. But um, this is an incredible car. It's only got 80,000 actual miles on it. And it is a clean, straight, strong car. Still, as you can see, it still has the lights and stuff installed on it and the siren. See the siren there? LED spotlight. It's got the front side and the windshield lights. You know, you're not really supposed to fool around with those, uh, but uh, hey, you know, it's on the car. What you do is up to you. You can have a little fun and uh, pull over your friends if you want to. <laughs> uh, sirens right here. Let's see. So let me turn off these lights. I'm going to take it for a test drive. <clears throat> anyway, as I said, it's clean, it's got good tires, excellent brakes, runs like a raped ape. I'm not kidding. These are hard to find, and check prices on them. Cars with twice this mileage are going for what I'm wanting for this one. Or Bob, I mean, across the road. But um, <clears throat> I want to show you the back here. This is a uh, basically a, a police interceptor vehicle. Um, it's got, also has the side lights that come through the window and shine right there. I didn't plug those in. You have to plug those in so they're actuated along with the other lights. Um, this is like a basically like a canine unit type seat. It's a one-piece seat, and if you pull these screws out and lift it up, you'll actually, actually see where the police department had the frame reinforced and welded um, like a race car basically underneath this seat so the rigidity of the frame the performance of the vehicle is actually above and beyond what rolls off the factory floor for a police interceptor vehicle this has actually been modified for a stronger frame by the police department when they had it anyway what I'm going to do is take it for a drive and uh, if I can, if the coast is clear I'll punch it for a second but uh, let's let's get out on the road with it Let's see here. Be right back, Bob. Power windows, cruise control. Still has some nice options on it. Dang, Bob has some short legs too. Power seat. There we go. That's better. He didn't look that short to me. So I think if I get down this road, I might have some room to punch it and just for a second, you know, just to show it off and not get myself in trouble. Now, very light on the pedal. It feels like it wants to just run like a racehorse, you know. Um, it's got the big tires on it, so, and the steel wheels, too. These, This is basically set up as a pursuit vehicle, basically to run down the... Uh, the Trans Ams and the Corvettes out there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, real nice and smooth at 65 miles an hour. I know I'm in a 55 zone, but I'm going to take just a second once I get over this little crest and put the pedal down. Actually, I think I'll go around the curve uh, so I can see a little further. I'm up to 75. I don't even realize it's accelerating. This is one you'll have to be careful with. I mean, you could end up with a ticket and not even mean to be speeding. It's really something. And with this all-wheel drive, it is going to be so sure-footed in the rain and snow. These things are incredible. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be barreling down the road at 120 with traffic around. That's just unsafe. And it's not courteous. It's not nice at all. So let's see. Yeah, just for a second, let's put the pedal down. Watch the speedometer. Golly. Close to 100 miles an hour, it feels like a race car. I mean, there is no bounce, uh, like no mushiness to it. You know what? I'm going to pause this and... Yeah, let me flip around. I'm going to find a better road to, to run down. Hang on. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just got this phone and it's different when it's recording videos. Uh, I wasn't sure how to pause and restart it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go up here to where you have a little straightaway. Man, this thing feels tight in the curves. What I wanna do is get away from traffic. It's a beautiful afternoon. It's Friday, and I think everybody's off work and just out driving around getting in my way. Uh, so I should be able to turn up here and have a little bit of room. Okay. So there's a guy up there. Hold on, I'm going to pause it for a second and give him time to get ahead of me. So I'll have some room. Okay, here we go. Should be good enough. Check this out. Watch the speedometer on the right. what the top end on this thing is but I swear it shifted at 105 into the final gear and it wasn't even revved up all the way because I let off the gas and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this thing top 135 miles an hour easy it is so powerful and yet it's smooth and quiet even when you're putting the pedal down and I had it I had the pedal down to like 90 percent uh, so quite impressive quite impressive if you like old old police cars well this isn't even old but if you like the retired police cars this is a great one to get it's got a lot of the newer stuff and this twin turbo engine makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up i guess it's very similar to a ford sho taurus and um but being a uh, a police interceptor it's got the heavier electrical system more ampage and stuff for running all the lights and everything you know i'm so no, I'm not going to do it. I want to hit the lights and just go fly it around this guy one time. But as sure as I do that, I'll get caught. This is a danger for me. I couldn't hardly uh, behave myself with this car. So anyway, uh, come and check it out. Bob is leaving me a key to it. He's got the clear title in his hand. Uh, this thing's got a good history and actual miles, 80,000. And um, you just cannot beat this deal. Oh, it has a warranty on it that's probably still got like almost two and a half years. I can, it's either one and a half years or two and a half years. He's um, He's got the warranty papers in the glove box, but uh, it's a zero deductible warranty that transfers with this. I think it costs like $50 to flip the warranty over to the new buyer's name, and it's still got either one and a half or two and a half years left on it. Um, so uh, and it's good anywhere in the country so at any shop give me a call this is a absolutely screaming deal and you cannot beat this anywhere you compare this to anything else similar to it they don't have a warranty they don't have the lights and the siren installed on it and they don't have uh, a few of the modifications at least i assume they don't um that come extra after they take delivery from the factory so an absolute opportunity right here. So jump on it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.